Hi, I'm gonna show you how to use ReCut for a multi-cam workflow where you've got a couple different recordings from two different cameras and an external mic. So you'll get to see how we sync them up and then how we take that all into Final Cut Pro. Let's go. So over in ReCut, I've got my, I'm gonna drag in my camera footage. This is from a Sony camera, wonderful face right there. I'm also gonna drag in my iPhone footage. This is from my iPhone, I don't know, 12 or whatever. So you can see this is like a second angle. And I'm also going to drag in the audio that came from an external mic, which is the one above me. So the first thing to do is to sync these up because they were recorded at different times. They started at different times. And so I clapped a couple times at the beginning of the video so we could sync them up. Just before that, real quick, I want to show you, you can drag the bottom left edge of these tracks to make them bigger, to, uh, to make the waveforms easier to see if your waves are small. And um, zoom in with this bottom down here this button or uh, plus or minus keys on your keyboard. So you can see in the waveforms where these claps are. And so Re ReCut doesn't have automatic syncing yet. This is a thing I'd like to add in the future, but for now we'll do it manually. I'm gonna use the playhead as kind of a ruler and then line it up with the edge of this audio waveform. And then from inside clips mode where I can drag these clips around, I'm gonna drag the claps until they line up here and then also here. Um, it's important to be in clips mode here. If you, if this says segments, then when you click, you're going to get the silent and audible parts instead of the whole file. So make sure that it says clips and then you can drag and drag the whole file around. So once you've got these pretty well lined up, you can hit play and just hear how it sounds. Make sure it sounds pretty good because the next step is going to be to mute the tracks that are not the primary audio here, because in this case, we've got the same audio three times. One of them is the high quality one. The other two are camera audio and are gonna be lower quality. So we wanna mute these and also ignore them. And, oh, not that one. I guess you can do that one if you want. Uh, muting and ignoring, especially ignoring is important because that, that's gonna tell ReCut to ignore uh, these silent parts when it does its silence cutting. So it's only gonna look at the silent parts on the primary audio track. If we left these alone like this, then ReCut is only going to cut where all the silent parts line up. So it's like where everything's silent at the same time. But by ignoring these, we're just saying like, just look at the silence on this one and cut everything based on that. This pretty much doesn't matter here because all these line up pretty well. But if you have, uh, if you're recording something with game audio or music or something where like you have another audio track where maybe there are silent parts, but they don't really matter. It shouldn't be cutting based on that, like game audio you would want to ignore that for sure, because then, um, then it'll just cut based on your voice track. Now that we've got that and it's all lined up, we are ready to export. So now we can go over to export and go to the timeline tab here and then choose Final Cut Pro and then check this multicam box. And that will make ReCut put all the, all the clips into a multicam clip. So we do that, we'll call it multicam. And then we've got the file here. And when we double click this, it will open up Final Cut Pro and we can choose a project and import it. Uh, from here, you can pretty much do whatever you want, like you normally would in Final Cut Pro. Um, the important thing to know is that you probably want to work on the project, which is, it has the whole timeline with all the cuts applied to it. And then the clips are inside the multicam clip, which is actually this one with the four boxes. If you double click on this, you'll see this is the, uh, this is kind of the container clip for everything. And also if you double click on one of these, you get to the same, that same container. Um, but from inside, from the project view, you get this timeline where you can change the angles and, uh, you know, change this to camera two and whatever. And just however you normally edit multicam. One other way to export uh, from ReCut is instead of just going straight to export, you can go over to silence and hit remove silence. It's going to do all the cutting right inside ReCut before it exports. So you get to see what that's gonna look like. If you don't click this, then it's just gonna, it'll do this exact same thing when you hit the export button and then just apply it to the to the Final Cut timeline. But um, sometimes it can be nice to see it in ReCut too. And that lets you come through here and just like tidy things up if you want. You can get rid of these extra stuff at the end. Um, you can get rid of this stuff with the claps in the beginning and just start right off at the intro. And then when you export, you'll get, you'll get exactly this in Final Cut Pro. So that's the multicam workflow in ReCut. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.